Coach, we'll begin with an opening statement. Well, you know, just real happy with our guys' response in the second half. Mount's a great team. They're a well, very well-coached team. Dan does a great job, and and they're really good. And um, I was proud of the way our guys came out and responded to some adversity. You know, we're down, I think it was eight at the half, and and coming out in the second half and and, and showing some toughness and, and fighting back. Unique, big win today. What did it take to come out with this result? Uh, just playing hard, you know. They start big guys, you know, trying to play hard, rebound the ball, and making sure, we, you know, we, we, we lock in on, on our uh, de uh, defensive design, uh, assignments and, you know, pretty much just try to get as many stops as we can. Season high, 23 points, and you dished out seven assists. What was the keys to your game today? Uh, really just taking it possession by possession and taking my time, having a lot of poise, and just remembering that I'm a senior. I've played a lot of games. I have a lot of games under my belt. So just using what I learned from the previous years to, for my benefit today. You finished with 13 points and five rebounds. What was the key to your success today? Um, just, you know, playing hard, just playing hard, you know, trying to run, you know, trying to run uh, um, the floor, and, you know, just, you know, getting up on the backboard, you know, doing the things that I usually do. Thoughts on the team defense in the second half? We did great, you know, just pretty much trying to um, um, lock in on our man and make them, let them make their own mistakes. I think that's what pretty much helped today, um, them just making their own mistakes and us playing solid and, you know, just staying in front of them. Yeah, it shows, it shows something, you know, that's not easy to do. Um, you, know, I, you know, we rebounded a little bit better in the second half. We executed a little better, you know, offensively. I mean, you know, but we guarded, we, we fought, we scrapped. You know, it's not pretty, but you got to scrap. You know, that, you got to have that every day. And uh, that's what they did. Coach, you just said before that the team was down by eight going into halftime. What was the message to the team in the locker room heading into the uh, second? They, you know, I, I went upstairs and it, it seemed like we had our heads down. And I just, I was upset. You know, I said, this is it. nobody's going to give you nothing. You can't feel sorry for yourself. You got to fight for what you want. And, and uh, you know, that, that's how it is. You know, that's how life is. And uh, it's part of the growing process and learning about, you know, how to be successful. Defensively, the Terriers locked in and limited Mount to just 16 points on 23.8 shooting percentage in the second half. Speak to the team defense in the second half. You know, it's hard to say without watching the tape, but I just thought that, that we, we had some energy and we scrapped. You know, it wasn't pretty, it wasn't perfect, uh, but I thought guys, you know, they gave effort and you know usually when you do that you know you give yourself at least a chance chauncey went for a season high 23 points also seven assists uh talk about the his performance this evening well i i thought he played a really good floor game i think he had a seven seven assists no turnovers um so i was happy i thought i thought he let the game come to him early in the game and i always think when guys do that they play better offensively and then you know, as the game goes on, you pick your spots and, and you, you, you score some points. But I, I thought he let the game come to him. I didn't think he hunted shots early, and I thought he played like a point guard. You know, he ran the team, and, and you know, I got to watch the tape. But I, I, I really had a good feel for what he was doing out there. I was happy with uh, him. Tomorrow, you guys come back. Uh, quick turnaround. What, are your, what would be your message to your team heading into tomorrow? Big back-to-back. -back. Uh, just making sure that we take care of our bodies tonight. Don't mess around. Go out. Don't try to celebrate the victory too early. Lay down, get off your feet, and come back tomorrow and do exactly the same thing. We're playing the same team. There's not many adjustments you can make within 24 hours. So just come back, do the same thing, and be ready to battle. Well, it's like I told them upstairs. At halftime, we were fighting, feeling sorry for ourselves, and being you know, immature and stuff like that. And now we're fighting success. You know, you, you know they're, they're, it's, it's a double-edged sword. You, you can fall to either one of those things. You can now get giddy or happy or take a deep breath and relax. And, you know, I told him how good Mount is after the game. And I said, you know, if we tell you a guy can do A, B, and C, and you think maybe because he didn't do it tonight, he's not going to do it tomorrow, that ain't the case. You know, if you don't do your job, you're going to get burned by it. So you have to keep the right mindset going into tomorrow. And you got to find a way. It's just about finding a way in the, in the second game of these back-to-backs. Coach, thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a great night.